Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from Himmelfarb Library. My name is Ruth Buter, and I am the Serials Librarian at Himmelfarb Library. Today, we will be briefly talking about how to include article processing charges in funding proposals. Our videos are publicly available and licensed under a CC BY NCSA Creative Commons license, although some resources discussed in this series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library resources. Let's get started. During this short video, I will explain what article processing charges, also known as APCs, are, discuss two common grant policies that allow grant funds to be used for APCs, explain how to estimate the cost of APCs, and offer some sample language that you can use in your grant and funding requests. So what are APCs? APCs, or Article Processing Charges, are publication fees that open access journals charge an author to publish an article in an open access journal. Including APCs in your grant funding proposals from the beginning will help ensure that you won't have to find funding to cover these costs when you are trying to get published. National Institutes of Health and National Science Foundation grants both allow for grant funding to be used to pay for APCs. Refer to the policy sections listed here for more information. Before including APCs in your funding proposal, it's good to have an idea of how much money you expect to spend on these fees and to include these figures in your proposal. A good place to start is to choose your top three journals to which you'd consider submitting your article for publication. Look at the four authors or open access pages of the journal website. Find the APC fees. Include the price range of APCs for these journals in your project budget. Repeat this project for each article you expect to result from this grant. For example, if you expect to publish three articles resulting from this single grant, repeat this process for each article and include the total range of APC costs in proposal. Now that you have an idea about how much money you will need to cover APCs when you publish your article, here is some sample language that you can include in your funding proposal. In accordance with the GW Faculty Open Access Resolution, peer-reviewed journal publications resulting from this grant will be made openly accessible after publication. I will comply with this policy either by self-archiving in the Health Sciences Research Commons Institutional Repository and or by paying an article processing charge, APC, to make the article freely available. I anticipate publishing X number peer-reviewed journal articles based on the research conducted under this grant. Possible venues for publication include, list the possible journals here. Current article processing charges for these journals range in cost from lowest dollar amount to highest dollar amount. Accordingly, I am requesting total cost for all articles in funding to cover anticipated APC costs for peer-reviewed journal articles resulting from this grant. Let's end with a quick summary of key takeaway points. First, include APCs in your funding proposals. Planning ahead will help ensure that you have the funding required to cover these costs when you are ready to publish. NIH and NSF grants both allow for grant funds to cover APCs. Do your homework and calculate the estimated cost of APCs so you can include concrete totals in your grant applications. And finally, use the sample language provided in this video as a guide for including APCs in your grant funding proposals. To learn more about the topics covered in this video, please explore these additional resources. Thank you for taking the time to listen to including APCs in funding proposals. If you enjoyed this video, please visit our video library where you can find the associated slides. If you have any questions about the materials covered in this session or have specific questions to your own research, don't hesitate to contact me at rbueter at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.